Ryan here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Autumn Oaks here yet. Uh, as I mentioned in their last episode, starting to look for a new map here for this series. So again, if folks have any uh, suggestions, be sure to uh, throw them down below. Again, the map I was kind of looking at was uh, Chippewa County, I believe is the name there. A uh, very uh, similar feeling map to this one. I thought that might be uh, a good map to uh, try next. And uh, seeing how everyone we're kind of still doing, at least I'm working on some... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful, careful. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. That was close. That was close. Saved it. Uh, seeing how we've been uh, doing some modding here, and uh, a lot of the mods I've been working on have kind of been older mods. Uh, seemed like it'd be a good fit there to uh, test some of those mods out on. So, uh, anyway, got a load of bales here heading up to the uh, cell point. I've just been selling these bales, by the way. Uh, I probably actually maybe should just throw them in the on uh, the fermenting silo. That probably actually been a better choice from because I could probably make more money. Uh, actually, how much does silage sell for on this map? I don't think it was a whole lot either, was it? Silage, I think, it was pretty bad price on here. Uh, silage, oh, it's 309 versus the 100 that the grass bales are. Uh, yeah, hard, hardly worth it. I think we're just going to sell it this way. Uh, as you can see, the uh, bales are visible on here, everyone. I am using the uh, straps to hold the bales on. Uh, that is because I auto-unloaded or auto-loaded the bales, uh, which means they are invisible. And then I auto-unloaded the bales, and then they do become visible again. So I, I don't know how or what the mod author's done with this trailer so that they're invisible on the trailer. Uh, I'm just making an assumption here, everyone, probably in the back end. Maybe there's no model for the trailer for this bale. So rather than actually, you know, displaying the bale, it just doesn't display anything. But uh, clearly it's set up right, because when you auto-unload on the trailer, I they're, like, in the right spot. So, I mean, that's good at least. I don't know if maybe the mod author just doesn't have... Or maybe there's a model in there. It's not referenced right. Who knows? Who knows, everyone? All I know is when you auto-unload them, they do line up nicely. They look great on the trailer, if you ask me. Uh, again, these are the 1.8-meter bales from the John Deere 568 round bale over there, which should be about done, by the way. Yeah, see what I mean? You, you can't see it. <laughs> kind of annoying, but uh, oh, oh well, whatever. Really not that critical. I mean, we're, we're magically auto-loading them anyway, so might as well be even more magical, right? Not even be able to see them, because you know, why not? Uh, anyway, this episode, everyone, we uh, wrapped up last episode by buying a uh, John Deere 730, and then, ooh, it is getting dark out. Oh, boy, that's not going to be cool. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to see if it gets dark out. We might have to fix that. Might have to fix that. But yeah, we bought a John Deere 730 and then a case. Uh, I know, it's red. I know, it's red, everyone. Pulling a red disc behind a John Deere. It's, uh, well, it's, it's better than uh, pulling a, a green disc behind a red tractor. I'm pretty sure you get struck for lightning for doing that one. But, uh, you know, if you pull a red disc behind a green tractor, that's, that's not quite as bad, I don't think. I mean, yeah, there we are. We are full. Uh, you know what, everyone? Let's see if we can fix the time here a minute. GS, I think it's set day time. Let's go to... Oh, maybe 1700? Yeah, we'll just... We'll reverse time here about two hours. Just so we can uh, work in the light. Makes for a better video, if you ask me, if we can actually have some daylight. But I don't want to, you know, reverse time here too much. I'd kind of like to get to the next day, so... Maybe should have uh, skipped time here before I actually started recording this episode. I didn't think of that. I should actually be able to because I don't think I have any uh, time-sensitive uh, things going on here right at this point. We do have the Oliver working on spreading slurry. There should be a John Deere 620 working on spreading manure. Uh, what else do we got here? The 4440 is still bailing. The 1586 is working on cultivating yet, which I should check on him. He's been going for an awful long time. Seems a little bit, uh, something don't seem quite right there. Are you still working over here yet? Oh, well, he's got it done. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least I think he does. No, wait, let's go to the screen. No, he doesn't quite have it done. Okay, he's real close, though. I was just going to say, he's got to really be close to being done, because, wow. Been going for a couple hours now, I do believe. Okay, yep, and of course you can see the bales there for a moment before they are sold. Uh, we're getting 14,500 load. Uh, this is, I don't know, fifth load maybe, I think. I sold a couple loads off screen as well. So we're, uh, we're making some money here. Not, not a lot, but uh, I could probably make a lot more if I made hay out of this field, which I should have done, everyone. But uh, yeah, I forgot Ted at first. I didn't want to go back and 
had it and then I'd have to re-win row it. Nah, just nah, forget it. We'll just we'll sell them out the way they are. Oh, we can take a load down in the fermenter too, see if that works. It should. The fermenter, I believe, has been updated so it does take bales. Actually, maybe the did the fermenter always take bales. Maybe it did. I don't remember. I know uh, some of the Buster's mods did not take bales, and I believe they have been updated now, so I think maybe they all do. Interesting to see if they take the odd size bale here. I wouldn't know why not. Oh, there's not going to be a whole lot of bales left on the field, is there? This actually is going to be it, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, we're, we're like not getting any bales off this section of the field back here, are we? Oh, completely missed this one. Okay, you know, that's actually a little bit of a complaint here, everyone. I, uh, the auto load range uh, started back in Farming Simulator 17, everyone. The auto load range, just uh, not much of a range on the auto loaders anymore. Uh, for those who remember the good old days back in Farming Simulator 15, yes, 15, everyone. I mean, you, you could uh, make one pass down the field and literally pick up every bale on the field. That's how OP some of that stuff was. And that, I get it, everyone. That's a little OP. But, uh, wow, you're not doing anything really, are you? Okay. Why don't we just uh, stop you and uh, call it good? I might as well at least let them fill up here. See if we get enough to fill you up. I not have, oh, I don't have the pickup dog. Duh. I wonder why it's not working. Yeah, okay, try that. There we go. Mm, it's not going to shut. Oh, okay. Not an auto shut. Maybe it doesn't. Or maybe there's something wrong with this. Uh, okay, you know, let's try this here, everyone. Uh, wait, no, I, I was doing this myself last time, wasn't I? I think I made some bales myself. I thought with the mod there, it was supposed to auto shut. Now I'm curious. If we got enough uh, grass here on this field to make another bale, I think we probably do. Oh, yes, and this uh, tractor could use a little repair, couldn't it? Oh, boy, and the, the baler, again, everyone needs a lot of repair. I uh, mentioned that last episode already. Uh, I'm betting maybe it's missing the numbers for it. You see a lot of mods, everyone, where the mod author doesn't actually put any uh, time in the mod for how long it takes for it to wear and or get dirty. And I don't know if Giants has, like, some preset default numbers it uses, but uh, whatever numbers it uses, it clearly... Uh, oh, yeah, it did, it did auto-shut. I don't know why I didn't there last time, but okay. But, yeah, whatever numbers Giants use, it must be, uh, must be, like, really quick or something. So, yeah, if you don't specify it, look out. Now we'll make this last bail here, then. I was just curious. I wonder if it would auto-shut. Uh, if you have the... Is it the auto stop mod and the automatic bail unload? You can pretty much, it makes round bailing really, really easy, everyone. Really easy. Uh, start your bailer, set your cruise control, and literally drive. That's all you have to do. Uh, it will automatically stop you when the bailer's full, and it doesn't miss that much. Uh, I know that was always a complaint from back in Farming Simulator 17, everyone. We had kind of the same mods back then, but it would always miss so much. It would overshoot by way, way, well, a lot. Uh, 19 years so far when I've been really impressed. Uh, it doesn't overshoot much, maybe a little bit. And in fact, most of the time it doesn't at all. So as soon as it's full, it stops, automatically unloads the baler. And then as soon as the baler's, you know, back in position, it starts going again automatically. You, you don't even have to, you know, you shouldn't have to close the baler. You shouldn't have to tell the tractor to go again. You should just leave your cruise control set. Uh, really, really slick. Makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I know maybe some folks won't like that, but I, I I like that mod. Works good if you ask me. I like it because otherwise round bailing is always just a little bit of a pain here in the game. Because obviously, of course, when the baler fills up, you got to stop, and you got to be fairly you know right on it as far as stopping goes. Uh, good luck trying to stop as good as what the auto stop does, if you ask me. And then uh, you got to you know push the button to unload the bale, and you got to push the button again to close it, and then of course you got to get the tractor going again, you need the cruise control, or if you're driving manually, whichever way you're doing it. You got to get the whole shebang going again, you know, so. Uh, I am still working on this uh, baler yet here, by the way. I do have a new updated version of it. I haven't put it in my save game here yet. So I don't know if I've fixed. Actually, you know what? I think this is fixed. I think. I will have to double check that. 
Uh, I am still using the uh, textures that came with part of the mod, so unfortunately they do still have the wear on them. Uh, as I mentioned, I don't like that. I don't think that looks right because they're belts. They, they shouldn't turn silver. I mean, the belts don't lose their paint. But that is the, uh, the way the mod author set them up. And at least at this point, everyone uh, might be, uh, as I said before, a little bit outside of my abilities to fix that here just as of yet. Tractors, this, oh yeah, this is the 4440, okay. We've got the 4242 uh, as well. Basically, both tractors look almost identical. I think I need to do is uh, take this uh, generic dirt and wear texture and apply it to this tractor. I think that will look a little better. Eh, the 4440 is kind of part of the uh, part of the brown tractor club as well, isn't it? Kind of, sort of. The, uh, the one thing I don't get out there... Uh, for a lot of modders, there are generic dirt and wear textures available. Um, you know, if you're not good at making your own, like uh, I would definitely probably not be good at making my own, just use them if you ask me. Don't. <laughs> uh, just just don't. Oh, uh, my goodness. I'm still not what's sure what's wrong with this, everyone, because uh, it's only got 25% wear on it, and it's completely lost all its paint. And I don't see any dirt on it, so... Yeah, I'm curious. I, I, I've got to look at that mod. I've got to look at it. Not to mention, it doesn't work with course play either. It doesn't work properly as a chopper. Someone suspected maybe it's actually set up as a combine in the XML. Could be. I have no idea. No idea. You know, that's the thing, everyone. You start fixing mods, and uh, the, the list is almost unending here with the... Uh, the mods that can be fixed, and even you know the mods that need to be fixed, sometimes it's unending list in the mod itself of things that can be fixed. So yeah. Okay, so we'll just unload this into the uh, fermenting silo here. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, start uh, plowing here again. Uh, like I mentioned, the John Deere 730 is lined up there with the plow. And we're going to do a little manual plowing here ourselves, at least for starters. And I'll probably throw a course play or hired worker or something on it after after we're done with the episode here. Get that uh, process. Whoa, whoa, hang on to it. Oh, boy. Trailer can be a little squirrely behind this truck sometimes. And it would be even worse, by the way, if I had the bales actually on the deck, not auto-loaded. Uh, these bales are just a little heavy. Just a little bit. Um, they are 8,000 liter bales, so... And holds 18 of them? I think that's what that number is there. So yeah, just to demonstrate here, everyone, if you auto-unload the bales... And we're going to push the button. Oh. And then throw the straps on right away so they don't roll away on us. But yeah, there's the actual bales right there. And they do line, like I said, everyone, they do line up on there real nice. So, I mean, looks like the mod author has the auto load positions all set properly, uh, even for the uh, width of these bales, too, yet. So, that it, they are the right bales. Yeah, see what I mean? They are a little heavy for this truck. Uh, it's fine if it's on flat ground, but. Uh... Ah, good. Does take the bales. Excellent. A lot of straps on the uh, front part of this trailer. They get a little sparse on the back, I guess. Oh, and I never noticed that. There's actually one that runs front to back. Oh, that's cool. Never noticed that before. Interesting. Are there any straps under here? Not that I can see. Nope, no straps on the back. Okay. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll bring this truck back to the dealer here. We, uh, we borrowed the uh, dealer truck here, so to speak, to uh, auto-load our bales. I mean, I kind of sort of am paying, you know, all the fees on all the equipment sitting over there. Actually, it's not that bad of a price, everyone. It's only, uh, I don't know, what, a few thousand dollars every night. Because, again, all the equipment over there, everyone, is in-game equipment that I've purchased. So you do have to keep in mind when you do that. And uh, I think it was Nolan that actually pointed out to me. I had not thought of that initially, but yes. You are paying all the fees on all that equipment sitting out in front of the shop, even though, like I said, everyone, I do own it here. I'm not actually using it. It was just put out there for decorations. I cheated the money in to buy that equipment. Like I said, it's just pure, 
purely decorational. But uh, yeah, because it is actual equipment and because I do actually own it, we are paying for it technically. So, you know, we, we can maybe kind of squeak in the fact that we can maybe borrow the dealer's truck here for uh, just a few moments. Speaking of dealer truck, I never brought the big one back either, did I? Notice it's not sitting in there. Which, uh, I guess that means I did drive past it a moment ago, didn't I? Hmm. Okay. Okay, looks good to me. Let's call that uh, good. Let's maybe check on the rest of our hired workers. Oh, you know what? This field probably needs fertilizer, doesn't it? Okay, note to self. Try not to forget to put fertilizer on that field. Yes, indeed it does. Uh, looks like you're still going here yet. Good. What are you doing? Looks like you're still going as well. You're spreading uh, some crap over here. Uh, we got the John Deere. This is the 620. Yes, the 620 working on this. Looks like one thing. Ah, oh, boy. I wonder how we could fix that, everyone. The hitches on here need to be, I think, a little bit taller. It's always been a problem. I wonder if it's possible to flip that hitch over there. Hmm. I have to look into that. I mean, here's the thing. I mean, I'm assuming I could probably raise the uh, connection point, but then it's not going to look right. So, don't know. I might have to look into that. Also, why did you miss the headlands? Shouldn't you have done the headlands first? Well, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I think he's got the headlands done here. Oh, yeah, no, no, okay, never mind. I'm, I'm not sure what I was thinking. Everyone. Yeah, he does, too, have the headlands done. Uh, I guess he only looks like he did one pass on the headlands. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're still spreading slurry, so maybe when you're done spreading slurry, we'll get you over to the grass field there. But anyway, let's uh, get started on plowing here. Oh, looks a little jacked up. I'm not sure. It's like someone ran into it or something. <laughs> eh, right. So this is the uh, John Deere 730. It's got, you know, the turbocharger and supercharger. Massive amount of torque here. We can pull this... Uh, what did the shop say? It was a 20-foot disc, 30-foot disc, something like that. Now, yeah, pulls it just fine, you know. It's a John Deere, right? Oh, yeah. Good old putt-putt sound. Hope oh, folks like it. We're probably going to be doing this for the rest of the episode, so... Make a pass around this uh, field here. And some cheapskate didn't put uh, GPS on it, did they? So, yeah, going to be all manual driving. Uh, that's fine, I guess. See if I can maybe read some comments here while we're doing this. This might be interesting. Manual driving, read comments, everyone. Yeah, I, I should have maybe done this earlier. Oh, I guess I haven't been using GPS for the entire episode, so it really wouldn't have made much difference, would it? I did notice uh, one thing on the Oliver I did fix in between episodes here, by the way, everyone. The uh, Oliver there, per course play, course play claimed the Minneapolis Moline was slipping. And I I went and found where it was calling it a Minneapolis Moline, everyone, because I thought I had fixed all the references to Minneapolis Moline in that mod. Uh, I don't know why the mod author called it a Minneapolis Moline. I don't, don't know if it's maybe built on that. I'm not aware of a Minneapolis Moline out there, though, so I'm not sure... Said. I don't know why it's called the Minneapolis Moline. In fact, in the uh, oh, in the i3D, it's actually referenced as a Raba, R-A-B-A. -A. I believe is a old. Let's see, I think that's an old. Ooh, what is the green tractor again? Steiger, I think. Isn't that an old Steiger? Someone correct me wrong. It's an RBA. I, I know I've heard of that tractor before, everyone. Pretty sure that's a, a tractor, but uh, anyway. So, yeah, that's what it was referenced in the I3D as. And uh, it took me some look, everyone, but I did finally find... Actually, I ended up doing a search for it. It's like, uh, okay, where is this Minneapolis Moline name coming from? I cannot find any references under any of the names to a Minneapolis Moline. Uh, it was actually coming from the motor configuration. The motor configuration name was a Minneapolis Moline, so... 
It's good to know. Apparently, that's where uh, Giants, or that's not where, uh, where Course Play pulls its names from. Oh, apparently, that's where uh, Vehicle Inspector pulls its names from, too, isn't it? The vehicle configuration. Okay, good to know. But that should be fixed now. Uh, I didn't put the updated mod in my folder yet. We'll need to do that. Uh, anyway, we'll uh, read a few comments here. Uh, Phil was saying, great video. Thank you very much for that. Uh, he was saying the GMC truck, as it fills, the fill point moves to the back of the truck until it is no longer in the truck and stops filling. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. You know what, I think I'm going to plow over this here real quick a minute. I'm just going to get rid of this uh, hay and grass that's sitting here. Take care of that problem a little bit over here as well. Someone looks like they've been making a bit of a mess. Not sure who that would be. Well, it definitely wasn't me. Definitely wasn't me. You know, it's really hard to see where you have and haven't slurried unless you look at it in just the right light and then it shows up like a daylight. It's like you. Yeah, okay, now I can see where I haven't, haven't been. Josh was saying you've got the old version of the 568 Baylor. It was updated, so it won't have that uh, issue. And, uh, Josh, I, I did some more looking into it. You are partly right. Uh, the mod author of the newer version there must have updated it, so the bales are now correct. And in fact, what the uh, mod author did, he actually did it, uh, from what I can tell, he did it the proper way. Uh, he took out the stable bale script. Actually, he didn't take out the stable bale script. He just unreferenced it. Well, I thought that was a mite interesting. So it's actually still in there yet, along with all the bales for it. Ooh, all I know is I looked at that mod, Josh. That mod is a mess. Wow. What a mess. At least it uh, puts out the proper bale size so you folks can auto-load with it. Um, yeah. Might see if I can maybe kind of incorporate that into the one I've sort of fixed and cleaned up already. But, uh, yeah, that, that mod, it's, there's like... Uh, it's mostly all just useless stuff in that mod that needs to be removed. I don't know why the uh, mod author didn't do that. He fixed the bales, I guess, but that's good. Uh, Delco was saying hi. Uh, outdoor farmer was saying around here in Alberta, grain trucks are commonly used for hauling silage. Most farmers just build a higher side on the one side of the grain box to uh, keep the silage from getting blown over. Uh, then they, for harvest, they just uh, remove it. Uh, as for bales being in the ground, your field is super wet and they're sinking in, just like in real life. I, I, either that, uh, they're outdoor farmer, they could also be the bales are super wet. You know, they're really heavy. Kind of uh, flatten it out on the bottom, that, that could be as well. That actually, uh, for those of you who have ever seen round bales sitting in a field, especially if they've sat in there for you know, a few days, it's actually very realistic how the bales were sitting there. That, that's how the bales literally sit in the field. <laughs> they will literally look like that. So. Uh, Mitchell's Mining was saying that John Deere 8020 has it where on the tires and everything turn. Whoa, even the tires? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, good to know. So that 8020 might have our work cut out for ourselves if we try to fix that then. Oh, uh, even the tires turn chrome. Oh, my, oh, my. Oh, my, oh, my. Actually, I didn't look. Are the tires... Okay, we've got to look here real quick, everyone. Real quick. What do the tires look like here? Uh, they are completely dirty. Kind of hard to tell what the tires look like, isn't it? I suppose I can wash it. Not actually sure what it looks like under the dirt. Does it have any paint on it? Mm, it's not looking real promising here. It's oh oh the rims are rims are cleaning. Okay. Yeah, them tires are very shiny, aren't they? Okay, yeah. Uh, I think I know. I think I know why. I think I know why. Mm. Yeah. Uh, okay. See if I can explain this somewhat reasonably well with my limited knowledge for modding. And I've seen this on a lot of mods, and in fact, I think almost every mod I've worked on so far. Uh, for the tires, a lot of mod authors are using the Farming Simulator 17 shader. And uh, there is a reason for that, because a lot of modders, you know, they're using textures and stuff on their tires. Uh, 1586 has reached the trigger endpoint. Okay, you can just stay there, I guess. But yeah, a lot of the modders are using the 17 shader, because they're not 
properly setting up their tires. Uh, if you switch from the Farming Simulator 17 shader to the Farming Simulator 19 shader, uh, your textures will still work. The only problem is it's going to now have a painted metal look to them. And if you remember those 80-20 tires we just looked at here a second ago, uh, they looked very shiny, right? Uh, obviously, most tires, if you look at most properly done tires in the game here, they're not shiny. And if the mod author were to put the Farming Simulator 17 shader on it, they would probably look fine. And I think that's why most mod authors are doing it. Rather than properly fixing the tires, they just apply the Farming Simulator 17 shader to it, and they don't have to worry about it. Now, if the mod author applies the 19 shader to it, but doesn't properly set up the tires, you end up with shiny tires that are... Well, they're going to be very shiny, not to mention they're going to wear. Uh, they're, yeah, they're, just, they're not going to look right. They're going to look really, really funny. Should function fine, it just they're going to look really funny. And at least if you have Blender, it's actually a fairly simple fix. Although sometimes getting, uh, and this is where I'm still struggling, everyone. Maybe there's a better way. I just need to get some more experience with it, but... Uh, you basically export the tire, or you that use Giant's tires like I've done with this mod here. That's probably the best way to do it, if at all possible. But uh, if you can't do that, you export your tire, imp import it into Blender. Uh, then you set the UVs as rubber, you know, rubber tire, right? And then you can export it back out of Blender, back import it into uh, the Giant's editor. And now your tires should be properly done. And you can use the Farming Sim 19 shader. They shouldn't be turning silver on you. You know, they should they should look proper. You know, it doesn't take a whole lot to fix. It's actually a fairly simple fix. Uh, assuming everything imports and exports properly, that, that's kind of where I struggle, everyone. Like I said, might be some more tricks of the trade that I need to learn yet, undoubtedly. At least uh, using Blender, anyway. Okay, got our second headland around the field here. If we, yeah, we probably do one more headland. That should be good. Then we can start uh, going up and down, I think. Looks like the Oliver is almost finished there as well, so we'll have to get him uh, stopped. And like I said, we'll move him on to the hay field there. Get some uh, slurry action going on that field. And uh, by the way, I'm sure I'm probably going to get some comments. So just, just to address the comments here, <laughs> I'm well aware of them that this tractor in real life Probably would not be able to pull this disc. Uh, I am well aware of that. So yes, this tractor does have a bit more horsepower than it should. Which, uh, as I mentioned before, I mean, if you ask me, that's, that's probably a good thing. Because otherwise these tractors were virtually useless in the game before. In fact, they basically were useless in the game. Couldn't really do anything with them. Now they probably got a little too much horsepower. But, oh well. It's still fun to be able to use them. And I was actually just curious to see once if this disc would actually be able to be pulled with this tractor or not. Ooh. A little bit of a problem there, but... Still does pretty good. Don't know if these front tires are going to get dirty or not. I mean, they're probably not going to. I don't think I actually have a dirt texture applied to them. So, as I've said, everyone, there's still some more work to do to the 30 series here yet. Uh, but at this point, I, I think I need to uh, learn some more about modding here, maybe before I go much further on it. Oh, hello, Oliver. Was not expecting that. Okay. Yeah, uh, just, just just push me out of the way there, Oliver. Yeah, uh, I don't I don't mind. Yeah, absolutely don't mind. I get my hands on you, Oliver. I'm telling you. I mean. Yeah. Okay. Unload that course. Oh yeah, I never did. Uh, that's right. I never did finish uh, seeing if that GMC worked. I mean, I gotta test that some more. Um. Yeah, I just don't have anything to really test it with here. That's the problem. I need to get some corn planted. That's going to be the plan. We're going to plant more corn in that field. Because uh, I do want to test that GMC some more. And not to mention, uh, 
as I've hinted, uh, I know something is coming that uh, we can uh, make use of as well. We need to have the money to buy it, which we should be able to do. Shouldn't be a problem. Actually, for those of you who uh, watched the live streams last week, uh, I actually did show a uh, snippet of uh, what is coming up. So, yes, you folks may know why I want to plant some more corn, and uh, we're going to do some more chopping. Okay, course generation. Uh, what the? I don't think I have any courses wide enough for this, do I? Uh, let's see what's here. Negative. Negative. Okay, let's go ahead and make one. Oh, not that button again. There we go. That should be good. Two headland passes. We'll try that. Uh, that'll be close. It'll be close. Can I get... Uh, let's see if we can get three headlands in here. I don't know if it'll let me do three or not. Uh, it's going to be interesting over there, but it will. Cool. I will take that. I think that'll be better. Because this does take a bit of a wide turning radius. Uh, let's see what's here. What did I call this field again? This was field six. Field six. Field six, 12 meter slurry. Okay. Off with you. And uh, we'll go back to plowing here ourselves. Oh, 15 days. Let me uh, sort him out here a minute, too. Uh, yeah, yeah. So why don't you just uh, stop? Where do you think you're going there, buddy? Where do you think you're going? But, oh, dirt texture. How's the dirt texture look on here? I mean, obviously, everyone, uh, when you're putting the dirt on here, you can see what it looks like in the editor. But sometimes what it looks like in the editor and what it actually looks like in the game is sometimes two completely different things. And you're kind of surprised sometimes. But no, I think that looks pretty good. Looks a lot better than it did before, anyway, if you ask me, everyone. Uh, again, I've just been using the uh, generic dirt and wear. Actually, speaking of wear, see any wear on this? Uh, there's a little spot there. It's interesting. I wonder why there's no wear on it. Is it just there's not enough uh, surface area here? <laughs> Maybe it's uh, getting lucky and missing all the spots in the uh, texture there, or. Very, very interesting. Okay. Well, anyway, like I said, I'm, I'm just using a uh, generic dirt and wear texture across uh, the mods I've done here so far, and at least uh, been pretty happy with how it looks, I think. Uh, I don't know who the credit goes to for creating it, but like I said, it's just a basic generic one. Something, you know, Giants probably should have done. I don't think they have one that I know of, but, uh, you know, just a generic dirt wear that looks somewhat nice, you know, so it does get dirty, it does wear. But it doesn't completely turn silver and doesn't completely turn brown. Like, oh my goodness, does it really need to turn completely brown? Uh, I don't remember. Does this cultivator fit in here? I don't think it did. No, I can see it doesn't. Okay. Oh, where should I park this cultivator? Where or where? That is a good question. You know what? This looks like a good spot right here. Just like on a real farm, just park right on the grass somewhere. Okay, everyone, just looked at the time here, too. It is time to wrap this episode up here already. So on that note, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.